Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. Mobile police are investigating yet another homicide. It happened just before 730 last night along the 1200 block of Reverend A.T. Day Street. That's near Michigan Avenue. Police were called out to investigate reports of a car hitting a church. Now, once officers got there, they discovered the victim, 53 year old Samuel Bishop, dead from an apparent gunshot wound inside a car. No word yet on a suspect or a motive. And uh, if you have any information, you're urged to call Mobile Police. Mobile Police also are continuing the search for the person accused of shooting five people during a Friday's high school football game at Lab People Stadium. 19-year-old Hezekiah Belfon has five active warrants out for his arrest. Police now announcing a major development in the search for him. Troy police arresting 24-year-old Reginald Todd of Mobile. Police say that Todd is a prominent Troy University wide receiver on the football team and a blunt high school graduate. He is charged with hindering the investigation in regards to Belfon's whereabouts. The biggest thing is, um, is not being upfront and truthful about some facts and information that uh, that he knew of uh, when questioned. Todd has since been indefinitely suspended from the football team. He's free on bond. There are new reports that the FDA is preparing a big announcement on vaccine boosters this week. The FDA senior officials reportedly planning to say this week that the booster shots can be mixed and matched, allowing people to get shots that are different from their initial doses. And while the agency recommends sticking to the same brand if possible, though, demand for boosters is expected to actually surge after the announcement. More than 9 million Americans have already gotten their booster shots, and doctors say that it's making a big difference. We're seeing a big decrease in hospitalizations after the booster. Your chances, if you had the vaccine, if it, even if you didn't have the booster, of getting very sick, getting hospitalized, or dying remains quite low. The move comes as federal health officials work to keep the focus on bringing up overall vaccination rates. The White House is also preparing to roll out a federal vaccine mandate for businesses with 100 employees or more. Now that could come as early as this week. School leaders around Alabama may be relaxing their mask mandates, but the state health department wants them to reconsider. Now that's because the agency claims that new COVID cases have dropped more slowly in children than in adults. It also says that school age children account for almost 15% of recent cases. The health department also highlighted new studies by the CDC. It found that school districts without mask mandates are twice as likely to experience the COVID outbreaks. Hey there everyone, I'm meteorologist Jennifer Lambert is with the latest look at your forecast. And as we do take a look across the southeast beginning off this morning, well, we're starting to see some clear conditions. However, here locally still just tracking some offshore showers, expecting those to move closer towards us, making our way into the afternoon. But so far to begin the day, we're seeing quiet conditions and just a little bit of cloud cover out there. Now heading further on into this morning, we continue just to track those onshore showers just starting to affect the inland spots, but very scattered, not really going to be disrupting your morning much making our way into the afternoon. However, you start to see more of those rain chances building. So around three and four o'clock, we could see more scattered showers and thunderstorms for your day, but rain chances only at about 40% for today. And luckily those will start to diminish once we get further on into your Wednesday evening. Now for your 24 hour planner, daytime highs today going to be warming back up to the upper 70s and the lower 80s. And then heading into the overnight hours, we're going to be staying steady in those lower 70s. That's just because that increased cloud cover and also that chance for rain into the overnight hours. Now as we do check in on the tropics, Things are quiet. No development expected for the next five days. Now, as you do take a look at your full seven day outlook, rain chances today at 40% heading into tomorrow, 60% and those temperatures also continue to stay just in those lower 80s. But the weekend looking great, starting to see some sunshine and daytime highs around 81. Thanks for joining us here on Fox 10 News.